What are some of the risks of receiving prolotherapy? That's a good question. Um, every doctor typically has a consent form, so we always have somebody sign a consent form before receiving prolotherapy. With prolotherapy, one should expect to get bruising, swelling, inflammation, some increase in their pain. You know, even if it's just 10 minutes or a half an hour, you know, you will get some inflammation, so you will get some redness, some swelling, some bruising, like I said. Depending on the area of the body, the major, major risk with prolo that can be serious is infection. Though the risk of infection is very, very small. The risk is typically in the order of one in a thousand to one in 10,000. So I would say the major risk with prolotherapy is infection. So that's why our clinic and other clinics use an antibiotic solution to clean the skin. Clearly the most serious risk beside that is if the doctor or healthcare provider stuck the needle in a structure beside where a ligament or tendon attached to a bone or another structure that's causing pain. So in other words, Surely a doctor could strike a nerve, could strike the lungs, could strike other body parts. So, you know, so I would encourage someone who's going to get prolotherapy, obviously talk to their doctor. But what I try to emphasize is that prolotherapy is a safe procedure. It's safer than living with pain every day for the rest of your life. I would say it's safer than taking pain medication for the rest of your life. And the major risk, though it's a small risk, is infection. Because even if you clean the skin with an antibiotic solution, that a person still could get an infection. But, it, but again, it's very, very rare.